our house and being such beautiful guests and taking such good care of our kids. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you for the final performance of the evening, Mr. Rufus Fonts. Tell me, Jim, you watch the door. I got a lady coming. I got a lady coming. Like I said, once or twice a month, there'll be a lady coming to call. And he said, Jim, you watch the door. That's what he said. And once I remember there were two ladies. I believe another time there was this young black gentleman from Chicago. I don't know what they were doing. Told me to watch the door, watch the door. That's what he said, that's what he said. I got a girl, she'll be coming up to see me. She's a very pretty girl. He said, don't let me catch you looking at Miss Mary Perkins. Yeah, that was her name, mm -hmm. uh, Miss Mary Perkins. So when Miss Mary came to call, I kept my eyes down to the floor. Cause Mr. Frank said not to look, that's what he said. Next thing, I hear Mr. Frank yelling something. So I run upstairs and I open the door. Mr. Frank looks up. He said, I'm playing the game, playing the game. That's what he said, that's what he said. And little Mary's kind of crumbled in the corner. He said, you don't understand. She didn't want to play the game. And so I went and hit her. You see, I had to hit her. He told me I should go and look. He said she's acting like she's sick. And I said, Lord, that child is dead. That's what I said. And he said, no, no. My fuck, that girl is dead. He said, no, no. That's what he said. He said, no, no. And his eyes were wild and his face was red. He said, no, no. That's what he said. He said, gotta get her out, let's get her out, that's what he said. And so I grabbed it, so it's funny, it's that you wrapped up. He said, you a good boy, Jim. I know you won't tell no one nothing, here's a hundred dollars. I got a hundred dollars. And so I put her on my back, we took the elevator down. He said, just throw her on the ground, that's what he said. And he said, no, no. There ain't no reason I can hang. He said, no, no, that's what he said. He said, no, no, there ain't no reason I can hang. You got money in your pocket, and there's plenty more of that. I got wealthy friends and family, and a wife who's dumb and fat. And I got rich folks out in Brooklyn if I need somewhere to go. And these stupid rednecks never gonna know. No, it ain't my fault that girl is dead. 